up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're actually going to be talking about how to actually get started with Shopify dropshipping for free, okay? With as little money as possible, because if you guys don't know me or who I am, uh, well, my name's Thaddeus. Um, I got started dropshipping about two and a half years ago with about $50 in my bank account, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys how I basically finessed my way with my first store into actually generating revenue, into actually generating sites. Um, if you guys don't know, um, way back, especially my older videos, like my very first store, guys, was doing around 30, uh, 40K a month, okay? And I got started again with less than $50. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did that. Um, in this little walkthrough and basically just kind of give you guys a rundown of like just really just what I did all right to actually get started with this little money down because I know a lot of you guys are young and don't have a lot of money or a lot of you guys just you know can't afford to you know dump a lot of money into it like a huge investment um, to kind of like propel your, your store forward right and, and you want to actually get your foot in the door but you don't like again you may not be able to afford it right so again I'm just gonna walk you guys through how I actually did this um, when I was like 18 and just kind of how uh, again how I like finesse my way into getting you know uh, traffic exposure conversions um, all this kind of stuff without really spending anything okay so I'm gonna hop right into the screen share here now if we go oh okay uh, <laughs> these are store sales for January 1st to the 3rd I'm actually gonna make a video on that later guys but that's that's yeah, okay that, that's stuff okay um again one download the free trial guys like the shop right free trial um you can literally find it anywhere there's a link in the description as well if you haven't downloaded it yet but um again what i tell people especially when i you know when i talk to people personally or just in in the e -com Hub mastery course as well it's use that trial like 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 milk it like literally milk those days out of the trial okay because that's that's a 14 day trial that means you have 14 days to get everything ready to go live without you having to actually spend a dime Okay, and again, when, when, once you like understand the process and the cycle, again, you can guys get sites up in the day um, once you kind of like know what you're doing per se. But for those of you like new to it, and again, just like trying to get your foot in the door, just like starting off with like as little money as possible, like those 14 days are vital, guys. Those 14 days are like you need to get your website perfected, you need to know what apps and widgets to install on your site already. Um, you need to basically have everything set in place that you, you know, your products, your photography, your social medias, um, what influence accounts you're going to source and whatnot, right? So, again, before you even like jump onto the trial guys, like have a plan, all right? Kind of know what niche you're kind of going, because again guys, none of that stuff requires you to have a trial, right? You don't need to have a Shopify trial to figure out what product you want to sell. You don't need to have a Shopify trial to figure out what niche you want to go in. You don't need to have a, uh, like a Shopify trial to figure out what influencer shoutouts or like what influencers you want to work with, okay? None of that is required. Um, before you have a Shopify chart, right? So do that stuff first, okay? Once you kind of have a plan of like, okay, this is what I'm gonna sell, this is the industry I'm in, this is who I'm gonna work with to get exposure to my store, then you can actually go in and try and make your store, right? You make your website, you download the apps. And again, guys, right here, um, I have like a super quick list of just apps that, that you should consider at least. Some of them are paid, because again, guys, I don't know what your budget is, but I'm showing you guys like a lot of these are free apps as well that you can use, or they're free until you hit a certain like volume and order or something like that, right? So you guys should be able to afford it when the time comes. But a lot of these guys, like for example, one Oberlo, that's kind of like required for Shopify dropshipping. Um, download that, it's free, like again, the different volumes. Um, Privy guys for marketing guys, that that's basically does email pop-ups. Um, exit intent, that's mainly what I use it for. So if, if a customer's on your site and they're about to leave your site, that's when a little pop-up comes up and you hit them with a fat discount, okay? Most of the time, it depends on your brand, how you're leveraging it, but most of the time you hit them with a really big discount, like so big that they don't really say no. Because if they're already leaving guys, that means they weren't gonna like buy from you anyways. So that's your last chance to kind of get their attention before they leave forever. Like your hard-earned money that you spent to get them to your site, could all be wasted if that offer isn't like a big enough incentive to get them to you know input their email in for that code or something like that, right? Because that's your chance to close on a sale. That's your chance to get data from them that you can use to retarget later on. It's it's important, okay? So download Privy. The other one is the free shipping where we have some. So like again, with my stores, I always offer free shipping everywhere. I just cover this actual shipping cost in my product price. So it, like again, it's perspective, guys. So the customers like they think they get free shipping. Really, you know, you're still paying for shipping, but you're just covering it in the price that they're purchasing the product at. Okay. So that's the free shipping bar. You can literally like it just advertises free shipping, right? Makes customers and clients and potential clients aware that they don't have to pay anything extra at checkout. Um, next one, guys, the easy one: SEO image optimizer. Um, I know a lot of you guys probably won't be getting a lot of organic traffic right off the bat, but having your images, you know. SEO optimized for search engines and whatnot will, you know, eventually lead into a trickle of some form of organic traffic that you don't have to pay for. Because again, that's the best kind of traffic is traffic that comes to you without you actually having to tell it to come over, right? So that's one thing to download. And then another app for marketing guys is Ali Reviews. It's basically just you can import AliExpress reviews into certain products. 
um, that, that you're selling, right? Um, to kind of just like, again, build customer trust so they see that other people bought the product. Then again, that plays with all these other apps that I'm literally gonna talk about now, like Sales Pop or FOMO. There's two different ones you can do. It's a little pop-up on your store that says, oh, hey, you know, Johnny from Arkansas just bought this product, right? Or, hey, you know, uh, like, I don't know, I can't even think of a name. Nathan from LA just bought this product 10 minutes ago, okay? Stuff like that. Um, builds customer trust. It shows them that there's other people active on the site. Um, some of these apps allow you to basically like pretend there's sales if you guys don't have any sales yet but then there's other apps that are like more legitimate that actually show real-time orders and whatnot so i mean it's kind of up to you how you kind of want to go uh, with that route um the other one guys is mobile converter by beaconing um i think this one's really clean just because most of your traffic guys especially if you're doing like my funnel how i preach it and like all the free mini courses just everything i talk about on ecom hub is through instagram right instagram is a mobile app so most of the traffic that you'd be getting to your store is for the most part mobile okay so you want your site as mobile friendly as possible to decrease your bounce rate right so having the um, the mobile converter by beginning it basically allows for you know a sticky cart um sticky you know uh, variant stuff like that so basically what that means is that when they're scrolling on their on their phone it the, the add to cart and the buy button stuff doesn't actually scroll with the site so they don't they don't lose it they always see those buttons constantly on the site right when they're looking at products which increases the chance that they're actually going to click the button to add it to their cart and then eventually purchase, right? So that's something to consider, okay? Now, the next one, guys, is called Recart. Um, that's a little bit more advanced, I'd say, but basically allows you to retarget people through Facebook Messenger, all right? So when they're you know adding products to cart and whatnot, they can say, hey, I want to get updates um, on Facebook Messenger about stuff, all right? That means they have opted into your Facebook list. It's kind of like an email list, all right? And then with that, you can retarget them, all right? Or send them messages on Messenger. Right, because Messenger actually has an open rate about 80% right now, which is really good compared to emails, which are around 30%. So, you know, consider that, guys, like, like optimizing your store and then retargeting with, with Facebook Messenger messages, right? Saying, oh, hey, you know, you left this in your cart, um, or hey, you know, there's a deal going on, or hey, there's new products in your store. There's a bunch of ways you can do that, guys, okay? Now, the next one that I want to talk about is affiliate marketing. Um, basically, if you don't want to pay for traffic, you can potentially contact people that have present or have an influence or have you know have the ability to get traffic for you and then you make them an affiliate for your store they get a like a commission basically off of every sale they make okay that's a way to do it if you don't have a lot of money to spend on ads or to spend on getting traffic because again a lot of you guys might be working with lower lower budgets so that's one way to do it guys is one you can download the grossumer app in the shopify app store and then from there you can generate affiliate links for these different influencers that are going to be driving traffic to your store and they get a cut just keep in mind you know if they get a cut that means they're taking, you know, 15, 20, 25%, whatever it is, off of your cost or off your profit margins, right? So that just tax on to your cost of goods, right? Okay. So that's something to consider, guys. Um, literally, like getting started for shopping for free, it's having all this stuff implemented, okay? And then the last final step that I did personally, right, because I didn't have money, is I actually did a profit sharing agreement with influencers on Instagram. Okay, particularly me, I found someone who owned a bunch of pages, approximately, I think at the time it was about 5 million in total um, across his pages in the industry that I was going into. So I contacted him, uh, actually, well, the backstory is I contacted 60 influencers, guys. No one else replied or they said no except this guy. And this guy even was on the fence, so I had to convince him even more, but eventually I got him to agree to a profit sharing agreement, which means all the traffic he drove with his shadow, blah, 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 he would get a percent of profit from my store, okay? So that's one way to do it, guys. Again, I'm not saying that's an easy way because it's not. A lot of people are gonna say no, guys. I sent over 60 emails to people saying, hey, you know, like I'm starting this store, I don't have a lot of money for shout outs. I'm willing to give you, you know, a, a cut off of my entire store's, you know, revenue or profit, right? You can do either one. Um, some people say, you know, yes, some people say no, a lot of people say no, uh, so be prepared for that, guys. So again, that, that's, that's how I got started with my first store. And then just keep in mind, like, you're, you're taking that hit in the initial beginning, but with dropshipping, once you understand the process and the cycle, you can make more stores easily. So like my intent with that was like, okay, I don't mind giving him, you know, this chunk of revenue or profit for this store, for my first store. I'm just gonna take my earnings and make a store and now I have money to actually fund that store and do it myself and not have to worry about you know um, giving a chunk to someone else right off the bat right so that's what I did guys and literally um, to, for your protection and everything like that like I, I obviously like have a contract with influencers and whatnot I have it linked in the description for free there's literally a free influencer negotiation course um, which has the contract in it guys so like I just added more videos on top of the contract to like add more value to you guys figured I'll help you guys out more but that's the video guys um, hope it was like simple enough um, leave a like, comment, I respond to everyone's comments, and don't forget to subscribe, um, 
that's that's today's video guys and again you can get really started for really really cheap and essentially free so that by the time you know the 14 day trial is up you put your credit information in to make your site go live and you have traffic guaranteed to hit your site right so that's literally how you get started for free um I don't think there's any more like fear you can get or cheaper you can get with Shopify and launching that stuff. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Take care. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related from the mastery course to free PDFs and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.